Okay, today I am going to treat some of my orchids with insecticide because having brought everything in, I have discovered a scale infestation um, on some of my catalans. And I didn't find the time, and it has been really windy in the Chicago area, to treat with safari um, back at the beginning of September before, you know, it got too cold and um, basically before I brought everything in. So today I heard a talk by Bill Toms, um, who's known for his bulbophyllums. Uh, he gave a, uh, a Zoom talk to the Illinois Orchid Society. And he says that he uses neem oil as his insecticide. Now I have neem oil, but it's never worked for me because of course, when I mix it up, um, I can't get the oil to basically um, emulsify in the water. So I get these blobs of oil. And he says that the secret to this is using palm olive. So he uses palm olive in his, and he also boils his water before he mixes it with um, his oil, which I actually think is what helps him emulsify stuff. But hey, um, I have neem oil. It's non-toxic and hopefully it will keep uh, the cats from getting sick from me having to treat with some insecticide because I think I've just got scale on too much stuff. So um, I went downstairs, I boiled a kettle of water, I mixed it with neem oil, um, I added some palm olive, and then I brought it up to, I wanna say warm, but not super warm. Oh, actually it's kinda cold now. And I'm gonna try to use the whole thing. Um, and oh, I can definitely feel the oil on this. So he says he keeps it warmer. Maybe I added a little bit too much cold water to this after I dissolved everything. And I am gonna treat some plants. Okay, so I've gotten very little um, insecticiding done because if you put greasy stuff um, in your container, it causes all the connections to break apart because they're super slick. And so now I am basically covered. My hair is covered in neem oil. My chest is covered in neem oil. My pants are covered in neem oil. The floors are covered in neem oil. Um, and um, I haven't gotten a lot of plants actually insecticided yet. So while I was spraying, I saw this um, scale on this Eclandier right here. And basically, this is why I had to suffer. I am definitely drenched head to toe. Um, my pump kept breaking multiple times. So I ended up um, not using the bucket and the sprayer, which would have been easier, but pouring the remaining amount of neem oil into a spray bottle and spraying it by hand. And there wasn't a lot by that point because most of this bucket, I made um, three gallons of it, was on my floor and I've had to wipe it all up with towels and basically I'm wearing the rest of it. 